right friends good morning and welcome to question and answer session for week 11 uh, let us look at the first question name the bank that engaged boston consulting group for developing new career development system for its employees called saksham recently state bank of india took the help of boston consulting group bcg recently state bank of india took the help of boston consulting group to develop a new career development system for its employees that means the performance appraisal will be graded under various categories this new innovative project is going to be started by state bank of india but unions are strongly opposing to this move and it is not clear whether the state bank of india will implement this program saksham which is meant for improving the performance of employees from april 1 state bank of india has got around 2.25 lakh employees largest public sector lender and it is to be seen whether from april 1 state bank of india will implement this innovative program or not because there is a stiff opposition from unions in this regard please look into the next question a lot of buzz was created for selling the so called most personal device that is watch which they are going to release in three editions and the sale is going to start from april 24 from april 24 the sale of these three versions of watches are going to start and the company is apple the company is apple they are going to release three types of watches do you know who is the ceo of apple the ceo of apple is tim cook apple is based in cupertino in california united states of america established in the year 1976 and steve jobs was one of the founders steve jobs was one among the founders who died in the year 2011 because of cancer now the present ceo is tim cook please remember the largest company in the world in terms of market capitalization is apple please don't forget please look into the next question name the bank that started pockets the india's first digital bank it is nothing but just like a mobile wallet it is just like mobile wallet you can store money you need not have icici bank account the money can be transferred to this pockets from any bank account and this can be used this money can be used to purchase to pay mobile bills to do anything so pockets is nothing but a digital wallet started by icici bank please don't forget md and ceo of icici is chanda kochar right please look into the next one n saktan was elected the speaker of the kerala assembly recently mr karthikeyan died and mr saktan of indian national congress became the speaker of kerala assembly let us move on to the next question recently rbi has included two special administrative regions in the list whose citizens are prohibited from acquiring or transferring immovable property under the foreign exchange management act recently rbi prohibited already there is prohibition exists when a citizen belongs to either of these countries pakistan bangladesh sri lanka afghanistan china iran nepal or bhutan they cannot acquire any property in our country they cannot transfer any property in our country at the same time they cannot take a lease of any property more than 5 years these things they cannot do without the approval of reserve bank of india so that means rbi's approval is required 
if any of the citizens from these countries wants to acquire or transfer immovable property in our country already these countries are listed now rbi gave another notification prohibiting these two special administrative regions of china that is macau and hong kong please remember macau and hong kong are special administrative regions of china the citizens of these two regions are also prohibited from acquiring immovable property in our country so the names of the countries which are prohibited under clause 7 of foreign exchange management act i have already listed in this ppt starting from pakistan to bhutan and in addition to these countries macau and hong kong special administrative regions of china are also now barred from acquiring or transferring immovable property let us look at the next question as per the mou signed mou means memorandum of understanding lic will provide all of us know very well life insurance corporation of india will provide dash lakh crore in the next 5 years to railways for funding various projects if you recollect the budget speech of the railway minister railway minister committed that 8.5 lakh crore more than 8.5 lakh crore will be utilized for capital investment that means for acquisition of assets or for the construction of new lines during the next 5 years as per the railway minister's budget speech more than 8.5 lakh crore is going to be spent for acquisition of new assets in railways during the next 5 years keeping this in view now there is a memorandum of understanding was signed between life insurance corporation of india and indian railways whereas life insurance corporation of india will provide 1.5 lakh crore during the next 5 years lic of india will give loan of 1.5 lakh crore during the next 5 years to indian railways and as per the agreement they need not pay that means there is moratorium for the next 5 years that means the repayment schedule will start only after 5 years moratorium on repayment means they need not pay after giving the loan that period is called moratorium so that period is 5 years so the loan repayment will start only after 5 years that is as per the terms of agreement between indian railways and life insurance corporation of india let us move on to the next question as per the forecast of imf all of us know imf is the international monetary fund based in washington established in the year 1945 it forecasts growth of various nations as per imf forecast india's growth is expected to be 7.2% during 2014-15 remember these figures are as per the revised calculations or revised methodology which i have already explained in the previous classes as per the revised methodology india's growth is going to be 7.2% during 2014-15 and Indian economy is expected to grow at 7.5% in 2015-16. Various organizations, World Bank, IMF, ADB, credit rating agencies, they give various forecasts. I included this question not to remember the figures, but what exactly is IMF? IMF is International Monetary Fund, which takes care of. monetary related problems that means exchange rate mechanisms among various countries established in 1945 so please remember the expected growth as per imf for the year 2015-16 is 7.5% please look at the next question name the company 
which is reported to be in a partnership with the united nations to create 1 million jobs for women within the next 5 years for advancing gender equality that means to ensure gender equality of men and women recently uber uber is the mobile app based taxi service uber you will have mobile app and uber connects you with the driver of a taxi service within few minutes this uber is based in san francisco in california it was uh, started by two gentlemen in the year 2009 san francisco in california now it is present in more than 50 countries more than 300 cities how this uber functions you have to download the mobile app and through that mobile app uber connects you to the driver within few minutes recently to ensure gender equality they stated that during the next 5 years they will create 1 million jobs for women especially taxi drivers and owners but united nations recently stated that there is no such agreement or there is no such partnership with uber right uber is the multinational taxi service based in united states of america please look into the next one the gross non performing assets of public sector banks touch a 10 year high they reached dash percent of their total advances as of december 2014 gross non performing assets what is meant by gross non performing assets you have taken a loan from bank let us assume that you have taken a loan from bank if you are not able to pay interest or principal or part of interest or part of principal for more than 90 days if you are not able to pay back to the bank if that period exceeds 90 days then it becomes non performing asset so loosely speaking non performing asset means a bad loan for the bank for public sector bank not a satisfactory situation across all the public sector banks in the country the gross non performing assets reached a figure of 5.64% this is the highest during the past 10 years during the year 2004 it reached figure close to this but after a gap of 10 years the gross non performing assets increased and the figure is alarming in the banking circles and the gross non performing assets reached 5.64% as of december 2014 right public sector banks are worst affected the situation of private sector banks is much better in comparison to public sector banks please look into the next one recently sweden has scrapped a long standing military deal with the answer is saudi arabia after accusing the country of blocking swedish foreign minister from speaking at an arab league meeting in cairo recently arab league meeting was held in cairo and the swedish foreign minister margaret wallstrom was not allowed to speak in the meeting why she was not allowed to speak she was about to speak about the human rights issues and the gender equality in saudi arabia but arab league has not given permission to speak subsequent to this the relations between saudi arabia and sweden strained a lot and sweden scrapped the 
military deal of supplying arms and weaponry to Saudi Arabia and Saudi Arabia in retaliation recalled its envoy from Sweden. That means straining of relations between Sweden and Saudi Arabia. There was a long standing deal for supply of arms to Saudi Arabia but the deal was cancelled and Saudi Arabia recalled its envoy from Sweden. Right? Please move into the next question. Rajya Sabha recently passed Insurance Laws Amendment Bill. This Insurance Laws Amendment Bill amends Insurance Act of 1938, General Insurance Nationalization Act of 1972, and it also amends IRDA Act of 1999. I would like to tell two things about this insurance bill. This insurance bill raised the FDI limit or foreign investment limit from 26% to 49%. If someone asks what is the limit of FDI in insurance sector, you should not forget it is 49%. The second one is, you all very well know, there are four general insurance companies in the country where the government share is 100%. This amendment allows the government to bring its share to 51%. Most important thing is, it allows the foreign direct investment from 26% to 49%. Please don't forget and with Indian management control. FDI allowed is 49% with Indian control. Right? Please look into the next one. Major fire broke out in the air conditioning unit behind the main reception of parliament building. Behind the main reception, there was major fire and the president of the country was not happy with this development. Please look into the next one. Name the country which is building 400 kilometers chain of cement sea walls at a cost of 6.8 million dollars to check tsunamis. The answer here is Japan. In the year 2011, there was a major tsunami where 19,000 people lost their lives. At the same time, Fukushima nuclear plant was badly damaged. And recently, Japan government started constructing cement sea walls up to five story height. Cement sea walls up to five story height towards its northeastern part of the country, and the cost is six point eight million dollars. And the answer here is Japan. Please look into the next one. Recently, SEBI cleared new norms for International Financial Service Center. Securities and Exchange Board of India recently cleared new norms for International Financial Service Center IFSC. That means with the minimum net worth of 25 crore rupees, you can have a stock exchange in financial center. With the minimum net worth of for rupees 25 crores, you can establish a stock exchange in the financial center and the first international financial service center, the first international financial service center is coming up in gift city, Gujarat. During the previous classes, we have already discussed about gift city and gift city is coming up in Gujarat near Gandhinagar. Right? Please look into the next one. Now, central government has announced setting up of separate public debt management agency. I would like to tell you, this public debt till date is managed by Reserve Bank of India. During the budget speech of the finance minister, it was announced that government of India is going to borrow 6 lakh crore rupees this year. Government of India is going to borrow 6 lakh crore this year. And this entire borrowing is looked after by Reserve Bank of India. Till date, the borrowing of central government 
as well as the state governments is looked after by Reserve Bank of India. But now, government of India wants to have separate agency to manage this public debt. Separate agency to manage this public debt. And a committee was established and the chairman of this panel to suggest various measures with regard to the establishment of separate PDMA is Dhirendra Swaroop. Right? Let us move on to the next one. World Kidney Day. This is basically to create awareness about the importance of kidneys. If the person has uncontrolled diabetes, uncontrolled blood pressure, during the course of time, maybe after 10 years or 20 years, complications of kidneys will develop. So, he has to create awareness with regard to this aspect. This World Kidney Day is being observed. Please remember, this World Kidney Day is observed every second Thursday of March. Second Thursday of March. This year, second Thursday fell on 12th. That's why this year we celebrated on 12th March. So, every year, please remember, this World Kidney Day is celebrated on second Thursday of March. Let us look into the next one. Pudhiya Talai Murai, a TV channel. Pudhiya Talai Murai, a TV channel was attacked just a few days after it was forced to cancel the telecast of a program, Thali, a boon or bane for women. That means, Thali or Mangal Sutra is required for women or not whether it is good or bad, whether it is boon or pain, that discussion was supposed to be held, but some religious organizations attacked that Tamil TV channel. The channel is Pudhiyatalai Murai, Tamil TV channel and the answer here is Tamil Nadu. Friends, look at the next question. Name the university which has remained number one in the Times Higher Education World Reputation Rankings 2015. Times, this is the famous weekly magazine in United States of America. Times is the famous weekly magazine in United States of America with the circulation of more than 30 lakh copies and every year it releases Higher Education World Reputation Rankings. Higher Education World Reputation Rankings. As per the rankings of this year, the first position has gone to Harvard University of United States of America. Harvard University of United States of America. University of Cambridge. Oxford University. Both from United Kingdom got second and third positions. Please remember, as per these rankings, out of the first 10 universities, 8 are in United States of America, 2 are in United Kingdom. 8 are in United States of America, 2 are in United Kingdom. That shows standards of education in United States of America. Please look into the next one. India has recently celebrated 30th anniversary of India's victory in the World Championship of Cricket. India defeated Pakistan in 1985 and the captain of Indian team in the year 1985 was Sunil Gavaskar. I would like to tell you a little history. During the year 1985, this World Championship of Cricket popularly known as Benson and Hedges Trophy was held in the year 1985 in Australia. Why it was held in Australia in the year 1985? In the year 1985, it was held to commemorate the 150th anniversary of European settlements in Victoria. European settlements in Victoria to commemorate that in the year 1985, this World Championship of 
cricket was held and india defeated pakistan to win that trophy sunil gavaskar was the captain and recently 30th year celebrations were held in the country that's why i included this question right next one as per the world economic forum's gender gap index gender gap index that is men and women how the countries treat women whether at par with the men or is there any gap all these things are looked into and as per this world economic forums gender gap index india ranks 114th position out of 142 countries india's position is 114 among 142 countries this geneva based organization not for profit organization world economic forum every year gives these rankings and these rankings of are of 2014 please remember right richard glad sir who penned and directed oscar winning film recently still allies has got oscar award for the best actress julian moore got the best actress award we have already discussed in the oscar awards julian moore got the best actress award for her role in still allies but who directed this film still allies that is richard gladser died recently he belongs to united states of america famous hollywood director he died recently please look into the next one famous author terry pratchett who is the famous for his science fantasy novels terry pratchett of united kingdom he died recently and he is famous for science fantasy disc world novels right he belongs to great britain please look into the next question karnataka retained the ranji trophy by defeating tamil nadu by an innings and 217 runs at wankhed stadium in mumbai the prize money for winners is ranji trophy i would like to tell few words we have already discussed about ranji trophy in our previous lectures ranji trophy tournament was started in the year 1934 in the name of ranjit singh ji and various associations participate not on state basis associations participate in ranji trophy tournament this year karnataka won the trophy karnataka got it for the eighth time and karnataka defeated tamil nadu in the finals and here the prize money for winners is 2 crore rupees and prize money for runners is 1 crore rupees please don't forget in ranji trophy cricket prize money for winners is rupees 2 crore rupees and prize money for runners is 1 crore rupees and bcci secretary anurag thakur gave away the trophy and awards anurag thakur the secretary of bcci gave away the awards and here karun nayar for 328 run innings got the man of the match award karun nayar for 328 run innings got the man of the match award right please look into the next one digo forlan famous football player he belongs to uruguay he got the golden ball award in the 2010 world cup football and he recently announced that his retirement from football and digo forlan the famous football player who announced his retirement from international football belongs to uruguay uruguay is the country in south america right please look into the next one the 69th national football championship for santos trophy was held at 69th national football championship for santos trophy was held at ludhiana This was started in the year 1941 in the name of Maharaja Santosh Trophy. The winners in this year Santosh Trophy are services, runners Punjab, 
services defeated Punjab. The tournament was held at Ludhiana. Santosh Trophy is the football championship started in the year 1941 in the name of uh, Maharaja. And West Bengal won maximum number of times this Santosh Trophy. West Bengal won maximum number of times this Santosh Trophy football tournament. Do you know the other trophies associated with football? Kamla Gupta Trophy, Sampangi Cup. These are also associated with football. Kamla Gupta Trophy, Sampangi Cup. These are also associated with football. Please don't forget. Look into the next one. All of us know that the highest population of one horned rhinoceros. When we talk about the rhinoceros, normally Assam comes to everybody's mind. The highest population of rhinoceros in Kaziranga National Park and the second highest number of rhinoceros are found in Jaldapara National Park. Please don't forget this Jaldapara National Park. The second highest number of rhinoceros are found and this Jaldapara National Park is in Alipurdwar district of West Bengal. Is in Alipurdwar district of West Bengal. Please don't forget. Let us look into the next one. The arms and armor once owned by the erstwhile king of Mysore. When we are talking about Mysore, normally Vadayar family comes to our mind. Vadayar family ruled Mysore for more than 500 years and their arms and armor. Armor means in good olden days, kings used to wear various metal shields to protect against the attack by enemies and these things are going to be auctioned in London. The answer here is London. Next, as per the statement given in parliament, Udai has so far generated dash Aadhaar numbers as on March 8th. Recently, a statement was given in parliament. So far, Aadhaar cards by Unique Identification Authority of India, who issues Aadhaar cards? Aadhaar cards are issued by Unique Identification Authority of India. So far, they have issued 78.59 crore Aadhaar cards. The population of the country is roughly 125 crore to 130 crore population and so far 78.59 crore Aadhaar cards are issued. This is as per the statement given in the parliament. Please move on to the next question. As per the 14th Finance Commission recommendations, Post devaluation revenue deficit grant for a total value of 1,94,821 crore will go to the answer is 11 states. I would like to explain few things about 14th Finance Commission recommendations. We have already discussed in detail. First and the foremost thing is the state's share was increased from 32% to 42%. We have already discussed in detail. The second important point is, even after giving this 42% share to states, there may be some states like northeastern states, hilly states, where revenue deficit may be there. So as to compensate that revenue deficit states, those states, 11 in number, will get special post devolution revenue deficit grant Please don't forget, post devolution revenue deficit grant, which amounts to 1,94,821 crores during the next five years. We have already discussed the 14th Finance Commission recommendations are applicable from April 1, 2015 to March 31, 2020. And this is the second major recommendation. Please don't forget, 11 revenue deficit states will get. 1,94,821 crore during the next five years. And look at the next question. This also pertains to Finance Commission. This is another important recommendation. In this country, there are 2.5 lakh local governments, both the panchayats and municipalities, 
this 2.5 lakh local governments in the country will get a total of 2 lakh 87,436 crore from center. This 2 lakh 87,436 crore, please remember, are for panchayats as well as municipalities. Panchayats will get roughly 2 lakh crore and municipalities will get 87,000 crore. This is over a period of 5 years starting from April 1, 2015. Please don't forget, 32% to 42% share of taxes to states from center. Second is, revenue deficit states, 11 states will get a special grant. Third thing is, local self-governments in the country, panchayats and municipalities will get 2.87 lakh crores over the next 5 years. These things please don't forget. Let us move on to the next one. Under Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana, an account can be opened for girl child and in the name of girl child, an account can be opened from 0 to 10 years. 0 to 10 years, in the age group of 0 to 10 years, for girl child, an account can be opened and maturity time is 21 years, partial withdrawal is possible after 18 years. These things please don't forget. Maturity is 21 years, account can be opened between 0 to 10 years, partial withdrawal can be done at the age of 18 years and interest rates for this scheme will be decided every year. For the year 2014-15, interest rate is 9.1 percent. It may change for 2015-16. Friends, let us look at the last question of this part. Name the city where the comedy show by veteran comedian Jerry Sunfield was cancelled. He is the famous comedian of United States of America and recently in Mumbai, his comedy show was cancelled because there was some misunderstanding with regard to the parking spaces available and this show was cancelled in Mumbai. With this, let us wind up question and answers part 1 and have a nice day. Let us meet for part 2, right? Thank you.